Okay, so let's start with the main elements of IDM, Information Technology and Management. Now to start with the preparation of ID, many students, you know, they just glance through the pages of introduction of ID and you know, they look towards many uh, basic concepts. But if you are to start with the preparation of IDM, my personal favorite would be System Development Life Cycle, SDLC along with data flow diagrams which are in system analysis and design. Now to start with the preparation, must always go through system development life cycle. So, first of all, you have to start with this. Along with system analysis and design, SAD. System analysis and design and in that, must go through data flow diagrams and entity relationship diagrams right so it's an interesting topic system development life cycle comprising of six phases right number one is planning phase number two is analysis then designing phase or development phase then implementation after implementation there is testing and once you do the testing then the maintenance part so system development life cycle is comprising of these six phases planning analysis design implementation testing and ultimately maintenance of the whole system or when you read SDLC, it is system analysis and design that is one of the most important components of SDLC and it is data flow diagrams, DFD and entity relationship diagrams now remember these diagrams, data flow diagrams are very very important for organizing data the data is organized, so they are very important for organizing data so that the members of the group can use that particular data. Now this data flow diagram is very essential. It's very essential for uh, inputting and you know getting the output of the data. Kaha par us data ko transfer karna hai, kaha tak wo data advance hoga aur kis jagah par us data ko store kiya jayega. In sare concepts ka pata lagta hai with the help of data flow diagram. So data flow diagram and entity relationship diagrams. Ye system analysis and design ke all important components hai which should always be covered up. Next comes the e-business models. E-business models and e-commerce system and processes e-commerce system and processes now oh, e-commerce is gaining tremendous importance these days and so is you know e-payments electronic payments all those internet banking net banking plastic money debit cards credit cards paytm pay so all the e-payment processes they are also very important as far as e-commerce systems and processes are concerned. After e-commerce, then one can go through the short notes so that IT do not become does not become monotonous. Or usme ERP, enterprise resource planning, CRM, customer relationship management, right? Then supply chain management artificial intelligence artificial intelligence ke baad, uh, business ethics or ethical issues and cyber crime so these topics are important for short notes, enterprise resource planning, supply chain management, customer relationship management, ethical issues and cyber crime. Once you do these short notes, 
then you can always proceed with the introduction of IT and computers. This you can always cover up any time. Introduction of IT computers along with the various components like you know uh, input units, output units, central processing units, or uske baad, then comes the business value of internet intranet internet intranet and extranet along with you know designing designing web page using html hyper text markup language so designing of web page using html ye aapko karna hai jab aap business value of internet intranet extranet padhe then designing web page using html now after these important parts right jab aap start kar le sara internet extranet then you must go through various components uh, of mis management information system mis or mis may be operational support systems right decision support system operation support system decision support system management information system so these kind of information systems are very very important right management support system management information system decision support system and then you have a very very common uh, concept of ms office so ms office jab aap prepare kare to ms office ke sath sath ms word ms powerpoint ms excel ms project right to operations सपोर्ट सिस्टम और उसी में आता है क्लासिफिकेशन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड एम एस ऑफिस एंड इन एम एस ऑफिस एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस कंसेप्ट कॉल्ड एम एस वर्ड एम एस पावर पॉइंट एम एस एक्सेल एम एस प्रोजेक्ट नाउ दे आर वेरी वेरी कॉमन एंड दे आर वेरी इजी बिकॉज you have been using all these you know in your powerpoint presentations in your project making in your report making so classification of software and ms office now these topics are my personal favorites you can always start by introduction of it and computers but you know just glancing through all these concepts might make it monotonous so you must start with one of the most interesting topics called system development life cycle all the phases of system to de uh, development life cycle along with system analysis and design where data flow diagrams and entity relationship diagrams become very very important which are used for organizing data so that the members of the group can use that data right so this is going to be the success strategy for preparing id so good luck all the best for id